Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow Empire with me, Time and Tactics. We are now on turn 18. Remember last time, there was a bit of a discrepancy with the industrial points. Well, not a discrepancy, but the way it works is not totally intuitive. If you look here, we can see that the first Supreme Headquarter has 33 industrial points. Even though in Bryce, we are building a level 2 recycling facility, and it needed more than the 76 it used. Why did it not use the 33 here? Well, the reason for that, if we go into the management tab, we can see here at the start of the turn, we had delivered from the SHQ zero. Didn't have anything to deliver for us. We consumed 76. We had 76 on hand in the zone itself. And then we produced 97. And that's why we could use 76 for that recycling center. Now, if you hover over the 97, you can see here, we got uh, the majority actually from our service tax. So that's a good source of industrial points right now. And that left us with 33, and the 33 was picked up by the Supreme Headquarter, which is what we see now. And here's the guess of what's gonna happen next turn. We're gonna have 33 in the Supreme Headquarter. They're not gonna deliver anything, and the 64 in the zone is gonna be used up here, consumed. It's gonna produce 39, but it doesn't take the the tax into account so i think we're going to see more than that and then we'll still have 33 at the supreme headquarter well that's assuming we don't use it for something else okay uh, also i looked at what we're doing right now if we go back into our organizations here and do military research we are actually working away on that high velocity gun remember we found out about artillery already and i believe what well, i don't know is the high velocity gun used for tanks or for artillery pieces? Let's look at the management screen. Any clue here? Hmm. For our tanks and artillery both. Okay, great. So we do have that. So we're working away on that because I've set the task priority to be 90% for research. And we do have something to research for the military research council. Let's continue with that. I think that might be a good idea, maybe, to get that artillery out there after all. And we also have our OHQ commander. He's been active now. He's been working away. That would be here. Cobb. Cobb. Let's take a look at him. He has an 80 relation modifier, or 80 in relation, which is good. Anything above 50 is great. Now let's look at his skills here. As you can see, they've gone up over time, if you remember. Operational Command, 38. Modified by his war uh, score attribute here. Brings it up to 67. That's not bad at all. If you look at the skill log, we can see what he had rolled here before, but if you look at history, he's been spending his XP that he gained from all the combat he's been in to increase his levels. So that's going to be pretty good to have him around. We also have a problem with our governor. If we go down to Bismarck, we can see our governor here in Bismarck, and that is Chrissy, 46 now. Remember she was supposed to be 50, I thought 52 or something like that? Well, she has changed now. She's going down by four. Her natural relation, if you see in the box there, is 39. What's the problem? Well, leader profile match with the regime profile 18. Let's talk about this here. Militia, fist, autocracy. We don't actually have much of that here. So what do we say? Militia? We do have decent militia. Fist we don't have. And autocracy we don't have either. So she's going to get worse and worse here, I think. Even though her skills are going up, it may be time to get her mood off of that job. If we want to recruit somebody else. And we may want to do that because we do have our one demand here or a promise we need to bring our leaders up to 12 we have 10 right now we have eight rounds left i attempted to do that to do that though we need to get a leader we can do a junior here we have two of those cards takes nine political points we have plenty i don't see anybody else So, should we get somebody? I think I might. Although, we have time. She's not terrible yet. Let's wait a little bit longer. Maybe we get a leader for free. It's possible. Or something might happen that causes her to change. 
All right, and looking at my notes here, if you look at the reports, go to the organizations, go to the staff council, we have 5% allocated of the points available to the staff council to go to discover, 10% to operationalize OB, which we don't have anything to do, so that goes to the discovery. And then we have occupation and governance 10, and then posture 75. Do we need that much? If you look at the postures, they're the ones that show up here. These are postures here. Um, no, not these. HQ here. So we have a couple of cards here. We have two pages worth. Entrench. Now we're going to use these now. Let's look at them. Entrenchment and a maximum entrenchment plus 50%. But attack goes down 40%. We can assign that to an actual commander. All the units under his command will have this modifier. That's good, but we're not really defending right now in the north where we have our commander. This one, defense, again, 40% more defense, negative 30 on attack. Field training means we're going to gain experience, but we're not going to be very good at or effective at attacking or defending. Hold the line, another defense. All out attack. This one might be tempting. It will cost us two political points to apply that to our OHQ. Infantry attack, 75%. Infantry defense, minus 75 I assume that it will include the machine gun components of our units as well. No retreat allowed, no entrenchment. Hmm, 50% die on retreat. That seems unnecessary right now to take that chance. We're not in a bind yet, I don't think. Blitzkrieg, mechanized forces attack plus 60, and action point plus 30. Overall defense minus 50. Entrenchment impossible. This one is interesting because once we get tanks, it will be, I think, tempting to use them solely to attack and then we'll use other units to defend with instead. Hmm. I'll keep this one. By the way, if there are cards we don't really care about, we can always turn on a scrap mode here and we can scrap the card. So once we get to 15, we'll craft another card. And some of these are worth quite a few points. There's a 15 point, a 5 point there, another 5 point, 9 points for these militant propagandist. Um, hmm, I don't know what this one actually does. You get a little bit of a hint here. Give selected unit to the special support unit feat. Now, if we go, if we want to know what the cards do, we can go to the help screen here sort by name if we go down to M military propagandist it's not actually here I looked before so I don't know I would expect it to show up here but that's what you normally can do anyway we go back to let me make sure I'm looking at my notes let's make sure we don't miss this uh, change to our staff council we can give him a call and change that posture if we want to that's 26 BP isn't it more important to find out about another OOB? Or maybe it's not. Getting those cards seems to be good, because if we find one that fits the bill, what we need, it's good to have them on hand. Hmm, I think I'll keep it after all. Okay, now one more thing we want to do is, as we get more units, it's kind of hard to keep track of where do we need to get fill up our reserves and, and who is missing units. We can go to the OOB screen. Well, you can go to individual units as well. But if you go here, we can locate our machine gun infantry brigade here, for instance. We can see it what it has here. We can also go for individual units here. And you can do average, as you can see here, or we can do specific. So we can take a look at each one here and the highlights on the screen as well. We can see here we're missing three infantry units there. Missing one here, two there, and two there. Might be good to fill them in, but we need to have logistics points to do that. And also, that's infantry. We have not upgraded them yet. It's tempting to do something about that. If we go into the model design, what are we working on right now? We're doing discovery, and I keep saying that because I do want to find out about the light tank. That's more important to upgrading the 
infantry. But maybe it's worthwhile doing it for those who are actually on a hex where we could uh, upgrade it, like this one here. If you can see, this unit, the 5th Machine Gun Infantry Battalion, is on a road. We can upgrade it right now by going down to Replacement Troops. And we can see we are missing one in this particular unit. So if we go ahead and get that to them, we're going to spend just a few points. I think that's fine. We'll produce that. Now we're going to be using some of those 33 industrial points. Go back out, and now they are full here. Eight rifle and two machine guns. Great. Ten in value. Readiness 94. I think it dropped. There's 100 here. Let's move this unit. It's missing three. Let's move them in here on the road. And now we can go ahead and upgrade them as well. They are sitting at 91 readiness right now and 70 action points. Let's check and see what happens here. There. 78 and zero action points. So you do take a hit, but I think it's worthwhile while we have the opportunity to do it. These two we can't do anything with. Now, we did have something good happen last time, and that was the, uh, and that was the uh, Galactic Empire weapons we found. That is a very good unit, offense and defense, actually. What do we do with them? Now, we are up here on the border to the Zetharian territory. Savannah. Tons of recon up there. We know there's nobody there. What is their recon value, anyway? two yet we have very good recon here oh i'm reading the wrong number i'm reading rain not recon obviously recon is here okay so we don't have very good recon rain would be more affecting obviously if we are doing some kind of uh, producing food not for combat right let's see if we move east do we want to move east we don't have a road right now the road is going to take up industrial points as well. We have 29. If I want to build a road into the swamp, it's going to be, or the grassy marsh, it's going to cost us quite a bit. It will be 20 IP, but then, normally 20, but then into the grassy plains will cost more. I mean, into the um, marshy plain. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to take him this way. We're going to stay there. Instead, let's go west. The savannah is not terrible. Let's move up. Let's take this one, actually. It can hold its own. Do we have units here? It's possible. 24 in recon. Let me take the other unit and move it up north. Hmm, there's nobody there. We have 22 in recon here. Here we have 19, but it's empty, so that's good. And we also have our one cross unit with five of these buggies. Um, if I move in here... No, I don't want to move in here because it's not controlled by us. What do we have? 33. We do get better recon with this uh, cross unit. Let's move... Hmm. I don't want to be cut off, but let's move north. There's a unit up here. 29. Let's not attack there yet anyway we'll leave this one unit down here now oh, wait a minute medical team you know what i'm gonna move them up here as well there and we'll stay put for this turn here now down here we have one combat left i think i want to do this one this turn that's a yellow crawler and they have they're not as good as on defensive as offensive let's go ahead and attack with our units they have a lot of action points available so if we attack with this one here this one there, we're going to get 3.5 to 1 odds. I want to take another unit as well. I don't want to take all of them because I want to save some for pushing through. And maybe one more over here. 13 to 1 seems reasonable. We have a cumulative modifier of 114%. And they have negative 61. We have 
Recon 93. Pretty decent. I'd say we attack with them, and we'll push in with the rest of the units afterwards. Okay, they had to retreat, and quite a few of them died. That's good news. SHQ is here. Yep, he can help. Terrain modifier plus 40. Concentric attack modifier was that. And then 61 on troop modifier. Experience. That is very good, isn't it? They had a negative modifier on their uh, readiness, a positive one experience. So keep pushing them back. Only two of our units retreated. That's excellent. What do we have? As far as our stats, we had 100, going down to 96 now. Experience from 25 to 28. Morale went up. Entrenchment went way down, obviously. But that's fine. Now, we can move them in anyway, but uh, now we have a couple units that are still available to attack if we choose. The ones who attacked here cannot move in. They have, well, this one could move still. It had a few points left. This one cannot. I'll move in with this one here. And we can take this one as well. Down here we have the yellow crawlers, Aggressor Rhino. These are more uh, tough units on defense, so we'll wait with them. Now we're in open terrain and I have been reluctant to move out of the farming area, but I think it's worthwhile doing, pushing them back when we can. I don't want to go here though. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Do we have two units here? We do have two units. I'm going to move in here. And I cannot move in there, but hopefully we can hold this one. All right, down south, we have our one and only regiment, which, by the way, I found out that if you go to unit admin, we can downgrade it in size and make it smaller and have units go back to SHQ or upgrade it and make it bigger if we wanted to, which we're not going to do that. We can also actually split off units if we wanted to into their own organization, but let's keep them together for now. I think this unit here, we need to be able to hold this. Let me go down one here. Okay, I don't see anybody else here. I would like to extend this road a little bit so we can kind of maybe put some units up here, potentially, later on. Okay. We have one thing left to do, and that's the new organization option. I am not going to do that just yet. I already have quite a few organizations, and I don't want to split up all the points even more, all the bureaucratic points. So let's just say uh, we're not going to do that right now. I think that's it. All right, let's see what happens now. I wonder if we need more units north, but if we do, we're going to reduce our militancy and we're going to have less of a chance to uh, maintain our or increase our militia units. So I don't know if I want to do that. Right now it feels like we're doing pretty well here. If we can push them back, we can hold the line here. And then in the north, same thing, I guess. Oh, they attacked. We lost nobody. They attacked the crossbillies. Good. And then they attacked. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take a look at this in a minute. A couple of battles there. We killed 600. Oh, we lost nobody. Okay, good. That was actually excellent there. Research complete. High velocity gun. That's the research. Now we can actually apply it onto a unit. We discovered a new model, APC, Armored Personnel Carrier. That might be good, but that would just mean we can get probably mechanized units, not so much attack units. We found a new uh, OOB, Motorized Machine Gun Infantry Army. We got one new stratagem, Recon in Force. Hmm. Jamie, what are you saying? To get more credits, sell some items. We're down to 80. Yeah. We can do that. That's a good idea. Now let's look at the history though. So what happened here? There, they attacked up here, they were acting, right? Lost nobody. Then they attacked here, but we're staying put, so we're getting all that entrenchment in there, and that's uh, extremely helpful. They lost five there. What else? Hmm, 
Wait a minute. They took that. We gotta head on back here. There's somebody there. Let's go up north. There's somebody here. This is a last resort, non-aligned forces. We gotta go down here. Yep. I wanna go to the forest. There's nobody here. They just gained it from being here, I think. But we'll stay put here in the forest. That seems like a reasonable heavy forest, actually, thing to do here. Automatic entrenchment is 100, so that is very good. Okay, we're going to keep our... Well, let's move our HQ up here. It can be in the center of the map there. Oh, we had one more unit here we could have upgraded last turn. Where are we at? 127 now. Okay, well, let's look at the reports. University is at 85. Nothing is being researched. 16 credits, negative cash flow. Hmm, that's how we are. That's why were, uh, Jamie was giving us that advice, right, to sell a few things. Chrissy, she is dropping. She dropped one, I think. Low population happiness, 58. High danger, 12. Yeah, now we're getting to the point where our unrest and danger is a problem. So 58, we dropped four due to high unrest and high danger. Danger diminished by one due to time. That's good, but not enough. Now, I think we can put units here if we want to. We may want to do that to hold this down. Hmm. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? What else can we do? Well, right now, there's something else we can look at here. We can see the assets in the town. They've been improving the private... Uh, well, people in the town have been uh, building these other buildings here. We have a scavenging light industry sewers. Plus 50 quality of life points. And quality of life, if you go to Bismarck, and we go to the civilization score, it says here that uh, our quality of life will uh, increase happiness if it's higher than the civilization zone score. And I think it's going to go up because health is going up. We also have a... If we just check here, page two, there's an arena and then also the sewer. I think that's going to come in very handy. So if that goes up, our happiness will go up. You don't want to, this to go down too much, right? Because happiness is going down quite a bit. Um, our luxury products and services increased by one, the happiness, but we lost seven because of high unrest, high danger. Now, why is the danger coming from? Well, I don't think there's a danger coming from anywhere right now. It's just, there. it's taking time. Potentially, this one is causing us, our danger not to go down very fast. Gastro octopus here, aggressor rhino, 44. We could see if we can push them away, uh, but I feel I need to move one unit at least back home. We'll see if that makes a difference here. What if I take... Well, the machine gun unit here has a medical team. I don't really want to do that. We could take one of the other ones. We can take... This is a fairly weak unit. Can you reach all the way home? No, you can't. You can get all the way home. We'll send you back home. There. Now, you're at home. Let's see if that's going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference, I don't think, this very minute. But eventually it will. We could build our own quality of life buildings here as well, if we wanted to. Problem is building. Well, we have 127 industrial points. That is a possibility. What do we have here? Maxicephaloid. Good on attack, not so good on defense. So attacking here is an option. Now there are two units. Doxy squad, also not very good at defending. Let's say we attacked. Unknown odds. Unknown odds. We don't know much about them, I guess. 
Hmm. I would have thought we would have seen the odds here. Well, we're not going to attack them yet, then. We have one unit at home now. We'll see if that's going to help. We'll move in here. One unit here. Two there. This unit is fairly weak. Two weak units there. Hmm. I'm tempted to take this unit, which is pretty strong. We'll move it up and move it here. And then we'll see if we can attack the aggressor rhino. Although they are... They are quite strong. If I attack them now, I'm not going to be able to use the... Third Independent Machine Gun Regiment. It's already spent its action points. Let's say we attack, though, here. What do we get if we just add in our units? When do we get that negative modifier? No negative modifier yet about being too many. Concentric. One to one odds. Well, oh, wait a minute. 1.8. 3 to 1. That's not quite enough, I don't think. Even though we have 80, 90 recon points. Hmm. Things are not, not looking great. If we were to spend some of those political points and get another unit, what would that be? Well, we don't have... We have the APC. Should we look at that APC? And getting that. We could complete a design of a model there. But I think it's going to give us mainly being able to move quicker, you know, a mechanized force, maybe. All right, so what if we go to our decisions and look at them? What do we have? Incident with firing a popular subject. The people of Bismarck are upset they have fired a, pop a people spokesman from your service. He publicly and rather rudely pointed out a flaw in my management. He might have been right, but respect should come first. The populace of Bismarck is angry. There might be some unrest. We don't need unrest. Unrest plus 12, plus 24, 6, nothing. Meritocracy goes up. That's what we want. Okay, that's good. Chrissy, though, 19 points went down. Our governor. Should we replace her? I think we should now. Motion that our tech level reaches 3.56. It's from the Director of Economic Council. The Superior School has passed a motion. No, it's Superior School. Okay. Tech level from 3.45 to 3.56. It's about 8 turns. No, 10 turns. Something like that. Tech level. I say we do it. And I say that because if we go to the reports... Empire Dashboard, tech level, here. Number of techs we have researched. I think we're going to get more techs. We're doing both economic and military. So I feel pretty good about that. Model Design Council, task priorities. They want to review that. I think we're going to keep it the same way. No changes. Yes, sir. Model Design Council overview. We can do artillery. Hmm, we don't have a, one right now. There is the APC. I don't know anything about the APC, what we can actually use them for. If we do start development, you have to be careful here, because I don't know how many steps there are, but there's going to be a machine gun. So we do get, with APCs, it's not a light tank, but we, and it's going to have probably a carrying capacity. So we can move our units, but also going to be good attacking with them. Or we can do a artillery. 150 millimeter howitzer gun. Now, if we look at the management screen, tech, what do we say? High velocity gun. Which I'm not uh, remembering which, uh, what did that actually give us? High velocity for our, not there for artillery. Would this be considered high velocity, 150? Oh, it's a pretty big gun. Um, 48 metal, 32 IP. We could create some kind of supplementary, uh, supplementary auxiliary artillery piece. Maybe we want to do that. 200 firepower, 0.6 ammo, 50 weight, 
AT metal and 12 IP. Maybe something that we can use to just soften the enemy a little bit. Hmm. I say we do it. It's going to take time away from us discovering light tank, but I'll say we do it now. What kind of suit uh, or personal armor should they have? Hmm. It's going to be, that's interesting. Do we need much armor here? It's tempting always to go for the max. Two and three here is the cost. We don't need these. And virus suit. If we're going to get anything, it will be this. We could say none. And we can just use them to fire with. They're not going to be in the battle to attack. I'll do that. And then a city, uh, city upgrade? No. We're not going to do that. It's harder to keep people happy. Look at that. 28 now. Chrissy, I think you're going to be off the team. Let's look at Bismarck. 28. She dropped 18. And he's not, she's going to go up to 38, but that's still not good. Here's her skill log. Hmm. And you can get an idea of what skill is used for what. Security increase, investigation role, education increase, and that's the quality of life, which increases happiness, which is we have a problem with right now, so that's good. History, that's what she's tried to do. Well, I'd say we probably go ahead and get a leader right now. Let's get a stratagem nation and we'll do a, a mercenary if we had a second army i would do this but 55 points i'm going to keep that we have 204 i'm going to take a junior they're not going to be that good Copy that. but let's look at them gray venkman militia commerce enforcement nothing that we care about relation what do you have Leader profile match with reg regime profile 81. I'll take it back. Wait a minute. He's level 4. A junior at level 4. He has to be used for sure. So militia, commerce negative. Oh, negative. So we are in agreement there. Enforcement plus. Let me just look at this real quick here. Meritocracy, government, and heart. So, commerce is here. We have been pushing down commerce. I guess that's why he is liking it. If he's level four, that means he's gonna gain experience quicker. Very quick, actually. War is very high. I was gonna put him in as a governor. Ambition is not super high, which is good. He doesn't have anything here in the military. Let's put him in as a governor. Experience 130. So if we do that, I would have to get her out of the way. She's going to be unhappy. We're going to call her up. We have 196, yeah. Standing by. Affirmative. No job. Same faction members suffer minus 3% to their relation levels. She's not in a faction. Hmm. We're going to relieve her. So 1%. I don't think we're in bad shape anyway. Let me go and check out the leader style. Relation is overall pretty high, except for Chrissy. That's fine. We're going to call up Gray Venkman. No, we're not going to call him up. We're going to get the option next turn, I think, to apply this to him. But right now, nobody's there. So we'll see if that will help us. I'm concerned about the happiness. I feel I need to do something about the quality of life, but it's going to have to be next turn. And then up north. We're sitting on the border here. There is a unit here. We can attack it. I think I want to see how... What kind of um, values do we get? I could move them up here. It's going to use more action points. Well, I'm going to save my action points. Let's go up here. There's the arachnid. 100. 
a soft defense. 200 hit points, same as we have. But if I attack now, 3.9 to 1. We could very well lose this unit because the weakness he has, if you want to call it that, is the hit points. So not nearly as good as his offensive values. But um, if we were to take this one as well, 8 to 1, we could push them back. What's the benefit in attacking now? Risking something, maybe. Well, there's four units. If you can eliminate them, that'd be helpful. We're taking a chance, but let's say, and also, keep in mind, if you don't have as many action points, if you don't have a full set of action points, you can't um, be in the fight for as long as you could otherwise. <clears throat> so, that's a negative. 17 to 1, full out attack. We did not attack him last turn, so they will have been entrenched. Well, I guess it's open terrain, right? Won't help very much. Let's push them back now. They are surviving here. Good. Two of them died. One retreated. Redness, five. Morale, 27. Yeah, the redness was low. Fighting and broken through. Now, the fuel they use is energy. I didn't even check that. We need to maybe verify what happened there. OHQ plus 100%. That worked out. Okay. So what do we have in energy? 379. And you can see the asterisk. That means we are maxed out at this point. So we are actually fine using him. We could push up now if we had additional units and take another shot at him. But um, there's only one left, right? So I feel pretty good about that. Got to be careful, though. I'm not liking how stretched we are. We'll stay put here. This, These two units here. I don't want to go to the open terrain. I'm going to move him down here. And you can go in here. We have eight. Replacement. That's good. Might as well do it while we have the chance. I'm going to leave my HQ here. He's closer... Well, somewhat close to all of them in that case. And I think that's all we want to do. I don't know what's going to happen here. In Bismarck, if we're going to have a problem here. There's a lot of things to think about in the game, so... Hmm. Alright, anyway, that will have to do it this time, guys. I'll come back again later on and we'll play more of Shadow Empire.